Okay, so these are the bash plates. Uh, let's have a look. Perfect. They will work nicely. All right, so today is gonna to be all about um, frontal protection and frontal underbody protection. So being an IFS truck, the 200 series Land Cruiser, it requires, you, you, got, you got to put a lot of uh, protection or armor, underbody armor in the front of this truck because it, it has a tendency to want to be, um, especially when you're off-roading, it, 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 you want to be you're plowing that front end, okay? And you don't want to be, you don't want to be uh, jamming sticks or rocks or anything up into those CV areas. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, you've got a, a gearbox under there, all those sort of things. You want to protect those, those delicate areas, we'll call them. You're going to need some heavy duty bash plates because the bar is not going to be hitting first. You, you're really going to be hitting the bash plates first. That was a hard hit. All right, let's get this stuff on and see how we go. Let's face it, having a bull bar just doesn't protect the front end of your car, but also you got to mount things on it. So lights, uh, UHF, uh, this thing has what we call a cell fire in the back of it. So it's a, it's a mobile phone booster for remote, remote areas. So that has an aerial. Um, I've got airlines coming in here as well. Um, I'm trying to stay away from the fact that I've actually got to get my arm inside a bull bar. It's always been a painful thing when it comes to winches. So that's why I'm going in cab buttons. Uh, so it's, you can operate it from in cab, also remote. So you don't have to come out here and plug things in. You don't have to come out here and put it into free spill. It's auto free spill operated by air. So all these little things, you just take it to that next level. So it's coming together. The wrappers on this truck at the moment, the colors are in place. Um, there's just the whole concept that was in my head is all coming together. And if I can start get some lights on it, so I've got to, I need to put lights. See, so this is the sort of light I'm looking at. Little, little uh, low profile, slim line type light bar, as well as those big nine inch spotties. I really like those LED spotties. So I'm gonna try and see if I can squeeze all of this into the bar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Get a bit of room, just a slight tilt so we can get that on there. That's what I want to get in there. And then maybe a second one on top. And then maybe some two there or just go, might be able to get three or four across the front here. On the bright side, the light bar's The light bar's going to fit? Yes. That's awesome. Oh, it's bolted up. Like so that. I hope you wanted it in. Yes, I'm yeah, 100%. It's got, to, it's got to be in there. 100%. This bar, I think, really suits it. Um, it it's a, has a lot more shape about it. So it's, it's out there. And I reckon it's going to create the look that I'm after with this truck. So last season we ran the, the Red Winch in the 200 and the 79. Winch is even straighter. No, it's just winding the rope in. <laughs> totally impressed with this winch. 17 and a pound winch. It is a killer winch. Its ability to run under extreme conditions. And of course, let's face it, the weights that we get in these trucks now when we're towing trailers, they're huge. So your little 12,000 pound winch ain't gonna cut it anymore. And the fact that it's got these extra things like air brakes and air free spool, uh, remote control, button operated in the dash, all those things make these winches worth the money that you spend on them. Get you out when you need to. There she goes. Moving some dirt there. 
We're getting really close. There's not a lot left. I've just a little bits and pieces that I need to tweak on this, but I'm, I'm really happy with the way this has come together. And uh, it's not gonna be long now before we get to do the full reveal on this awesome truck. <laughs> 